Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel Nestled in Knits. If you're new here, my name is Mathilde, I'm a French beginner knitter and I try and post every two weeks here on the channel. Um, once a month I'll post a knitting podcast where I talk about all of my finished objects of the month, my current whips and if I have any yarn or knitting related acquisitions then I'll show them on that video as well. And then I try to post uh, another type of video and so this week I am posting about 10 free uh, patterns on Ravelry that you can use to make any gifts for Christmas. Today the date I am posting is uh, the 1st of December so I thought it would be a good time to give you any ideas of um, last minute, kind of last minute, knitting gifts uh, that you can make for any of your relatives or friends for Christmas. <laughs> Just before we dive into that, I want to tell you that I'm going to try to do a kind of a vlogmas type um, daily vlog on TikTok. So you can follow me there. Uh, it's the same username as here on YouTube. It's at Nestle in Knits. I'll put everything in the link below if you want to go and follow me on TikTok so that you can see what I'm up to. This month I'll try to mainly uh, focus on knitting content but I'll show you, um, you know, daily things like uh, what I'm having for breakfast and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'll try to post daily uh, up until uh, Christmas Day but we'll see how that goes because I do have a, a full-time job and, you know, daylight savings and stuff. So we'll see what that will look like. But yeah, I would uh, love it if you would join me for that. So as a disclaimer, I've not um, actually knitted up any of these patterns, but some of them are actually uh, ones that I think I might make. Not this year, because I do have some uh, gift knitting plans already in the works and I don't think I will have enough time to make others but I'll definitely keep them in mind for next year. So the patterns that I'm going to show you I think will are great not just for Christmas gift knitting but also for birthdays or uh, any occasions so be sure to um, keep them in mind for, for that if you don't have enough time to knit anything for Christmas but yeah let's just um, dive straight in. I am going to divide them up by categories and the first one is going to be head accessories um, and the first one is a beanie and it is the ribbed beanie by Emily Baldwin. Baldwin? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I think it is a 2x2 two two, uh, rib beanie uh, knitted in DK weight so fairly quick knit. Um, she uses woolly 8 ply in olive u lots but uh, you can uh, substitute this for any kind of... Um, I feel like it, it's such a simple but uh, very trendy. I feel like 2x2 two two rib is very trendy at the moment and uh, for a beanie it's really really lovely and kind of could be stretchy so um, would really suit anyone in your family. I don't think it has any like child sizes uh, let me check actually. Yeah, so it only has one size for an adult with, and it's about pr approximately 52 centimeters around head. Um, and it is using three by, sorry, 3.5 millimeter needles. I feel like this should be a fairly quick knit because you only knit uh, the rib pattern for around 18 centimeters and then you start the crown shaping. Uh, so yeah, th this is a fairly quick knit and looks really lovely and I'm sure anyone in your family or your friends would appreciate it. The second hair accessory is a headband. Um, I feel like it's even quicker to knit than a beanie and it is the grain hand headband by Mirella Moments. Uh, again, this is a free pattern on Ravelry. Um, it is a, it, it features a really lovely textured slip stitch pattern and 
it's a bit you know nicer than the regular just uh, stockinette stitch uh, headband it should be a fairly quick knit like only a, a day of knitting should do the trick and uh, you can really de-stash with this because it's only using one skein of I think she uses a super bulky yarn um, and it is let me check yeah you can use whatever yarn you have for that because the gauge she says that it's not really important so you can use whatever yarn you have in your stash already so that's a great way to de-stash as well I think the the pattern looks really really nice so it's very fairly different from uh, what I've seen uh, and should make a really nice gift for someone for Christmas the next pattern is one by Espace Tricot which is also a free pattern and it is the Mouton Noir beanie um, it's using a worsted weight yarn so it should again be fairly quick it's knit on 4.5 millimeter needles and it only uses uh, 174 meters or 190 yards of yarn um, it only has one size uh, so the finished circumference is 47 centimeters or 18.5 inches and what I really like about this pattern is that it's not just you know a regular beanie it's using boucle yarn and I think uh, it it's a, a good way to if you've never used a boucle yarn before it's a good way to try that type of yarn because it's quite a, a small quick project because I know that sometimes boucle yarn can be difficult to work with um, but if you're you know curious like me to try a yarn like that uh, I think that's a nice project to do it with and it should be fairly uh, warm as well and whatever color you choose to knit with it still has kind of a nice texture as well um, this one features a folded brim so it does mean that you have to knit a longer um, bit before doing the crown shaping you have to knit about a bit less than 30 centimeters so 11.5 inches um, so it's a fairly longer knit than the ribbed one but then because it's stuck in it maybe it's a bit quicker um, but yeah I think it, it looks really really nice and would make a great gift as well and then for the last um, hair accessory it's actually a hair tie bow uh, I've seen a lot of them on Instagram and Pinterest um, I think the most famous one maybe is the December bow, bow by um, Petit Knit and I'm actually planning on knitting the I think it's Augustine's number 22 by um, Augustine's DK is it DK? Augustine's I'll put everything in the link below but this one is a free pattern and it is the Dahlia hair tie bow by Isabel Cecilia and it, it looks really really lovely in the picture uh, if I have time I might actually make that for someone um, it might even be uh, quicker to knit than the other ones because it only uses either six grams of you know one strand of um, lace weight yarn or you can use also two strands of mo uh, mohair they use kit silk lace uh, and that would be 12 grams so whatever you choose to knit it in uh, would make a really nice you know fluffy hair tie the pattern does come in two sizes so you can do the large size which would be a 62 uh, lengthwise hair tie or you can make a smaller one which would be 42 centimeters and yeah it's just a, a really lovely accessory for your hair would be a really good way to destash any yarn that you have in this very small amount and yeah it's really lovely I, I, yeah, I actually think I'm gonna make this for someone and now let's just go straight into hand accessories <laughs> So obviously this is going to be uh, about gloves. Uh, I found two uh, free patterns for gloves that I think are really um, lovely and you know uh, would be fairly quick knits and I think would suit 
uh, a lot of people. You've got one that's a bit more traditional as, uh, in a way. It's, a, it's the Pioneer Gloves by Kelly McClure um, and it's a ribbed pattern um, using fingering weight yarn. It's got three sizes for adults, small, medium, large, and you can knit it, um, you've got two lengths that you can knit it at, the short and the long. Um, I really like the way that the increases look uh, uh, for the thumb or like for the palm of your hand. I think it looks really, really good. And they have uh, a fair amount of photos uh, shown in different yarns with different colors, which I think is a really good way to uh, show that whichever yarn you choose to use, it would look really good. Um, I think for one of them, they use a sock yarn uh, in so a light fingering one. Um, how much does this one take? takes about 110 to 200 yards of yarn and in meters that's 100, and 100 to 183 meters of yarn. So again, if you don't have much of um, sock yarn left, for example, but you don't know what to do with it, uh, I think this would be a good way to use up whatever you have in stash um, and it would look really good and suit anyone. Um, and then the next pair of gloves is the Nalu Mitz by Leila Raven. Um, I think maybe it's the blue in this that's, that really drew me in but I think the the pattern on the back of the hand looks really really nice. Um, this might take a bit longer just because of the texture but because it's only on one uh, in the middle of the back of the hand, I feel like the rest is stuck in it and then you have the ribbing at the top, the bottom and around the thumb. So it would be a fairly quick um, and easy knit as well. This is using sport weight yarn and using 3.25 millimeter needles or US 3 needles. And it's only using around 150 meters of yarn or 164 yards. This really lovely wave cable detail on the back I think is really just uh, stunning. It does make it a bit more, I guess, original in a way uh, without taking up too much of your time. So then let's dive into socks. I feel like socks are a really great gifts for anyone in your family or in your life. Um, I myself, I, I'm knitting a pair of socks for someone for Christmas. Uh, the only thing is, is uh, if you know, it's a fingering weight uh, sock, then that would take, I mean, it doesn't take too long, but it's fairly, it's a fairly longer process let's say. So I've picked, the first one is a using DK weight yarn, so it should be fairly quicker. Um, I think they mention a 3.5 or 3 millimeter needles. Um, and yeah, it's called the Biscuit Socks by Fluffy Fibers. So these are not uh, just stockinet, um, you know, stockinet knit uh, socks. They have a bit more texture to them. Uh, I'm not sure what this pattern is called, uh, but I feel like they should be fairly um, easy to make. You do need around 300 meters of yarn or 328 yards of yarn. It does come in two patterns, I guess, uh, one for circular, using circular needles and one using DPNs, which I think is really nice. You've got a, a written instructions and then a chart as well for the pattern. For a free pattern, I think it, it looks really detailed. Um, so yeah, I would really recommend. Uh, they are going to go in my uh, knitting plans. I don't know when I will make them, but I think they look really, really nice. The other pair of socks are the Wood Nymph by the ha This Handmade Life, sorry. This one is a fingering weight sock. 
so it would take you a bit longer but again I've chosen one that has um, a bit of detail on the leg but otherwise is should be fairly quick because it's on his stockinette um, I think you've got actually two ways of making them because uh, on the photos I'm seeing some with only the detail on the leg and then one with the detail running all the way to the toe and then one that has actually a bit more detail around the long cable it's got one more um, more like around the back so you I guess you can make these any way you want um, but yeah it's a uh, using around 400 yards or 366 meters of yarn and it only has one size um, but she does mention that you can adjust it however you want however it is using 2.5 millimeter needles so again a bit less of a quick knit than the other socks that i mentioned just before uh, it is using a short through heel turn so um, this is a fairly easy way to make a short row but I know some people don't like it but you know I, I, I feel like you could easily substitute it for another method to knit the heel. She also mentions a another type of caston from the long tail caston which is an old Norwegian caston and she does also provide a link towards a tutorial if you want to learn how to do that um, so yeah it's a really lovely sock pattern now we are going to strive away from i guess accessories and this is more of a like um home knit knit for your home i guess i don't know about you but most people in my family use a hot water bottle for you know during winter i think knitting a hot water bottle cover is a really good way to knit something for someone but if you're not sure whether they are going to you know wear your socks or the mittens because it's a bit of a um, you know it can be tricky to know what someone likes whereas i think a hot water bottle cover is a really good uh, way to uh, give something that's a bit personalized without being too um, out there for them if it's not what they like. So the first one is a DK weight hot water bottle cover uh, again by Emily Baldwin. I mentioned her in the first project um, and it's a mostly stockinette except for the neck of the hot water bottle um, which is a I think two by two rib. It looks really good in the pattern photos because she uses um, a really lovely yarn combination uh, what's it it's the spin decay by Ren and Ollie in this really pretty like uh, a pinkish irrigated yarn um, so yeah this only uses one skein of yarn uh, around 170 to 200 meter um, of yarn so you can knit it either in the round or flat if you want which I think is a really good uh, so if you don't if you're not if you're a beginner and you don't yet know how to knit in the round it's a good way either to learn or to you know knit the flat version um, she uses 4 and 3.5 millimeter needles so I'm guessing the 3.5 is for the ribbing and then 4 millimeter for the um, body of the cover uh, so should be a fairly quick knit as well and I have one last uh, free pattern to share with you and it is again by Emily Baldwin they do make quite a lot of free patterns that are really nice and it's another water uh, hot water bottle cover and it is called the hot water bubble <laughs> so as you can imagine it has bubbles all over the um, body of the water water the water bottle hot water bottle um, again she uses a two by two rib for the neck and then you know stuck in it with the bubbles it's the same type of yarn the same needle sizes and then the only thing that's uh, different is the bubbles on top of the stuck in it um which you can make really easily let me just check so it's it does have 
a chart if you're more comfortable with chart but then it also has a um, written instructions as well for the bubbles as I said uh, I think it's a good way to gift something to someone that you've uh, made yourself without you know not knowing uh, you know spending too much time on, on something and not knowing whether someone will appreciate it so that was my last free knitting patterns to share with you i hope you enjoyed them and let me know if you plan on using any of these patterns to knit for, uh, something for christmas for anyone in your life or maybe even for yourself if you've seen any that you think uh, are really nice um, i'm definitely planning on making a hot water bottle cover at some point not this month but later and then the hair tie bow as well I think is really really stunning so those are two of the patterns that I would definitely make so let me know in the comments or on Instagram if you want to follow me there again it's at Nestle Knits and I'll see you in the next